Yo, what's up guys, Old School Dan here. And in today's video, we're gonna be talking about Don Haworth's training routine. Um, I wanna give a big shout out to Devin Rivers for providing this routine. He got it from his Muscle Magazine. Really appreciate that, Devin. Everybody can leave a comment on, you know, thanking Devin for that. Uh, so yeah, let us get started. All right, so I'm gonna be completely honest with you. I have no idea what he means by he does chest and arms three days a week and he does legs and back six days a week. Does that mean he's training twice in one day? Or does that mean, I mean, how does he split it up? I'm a little confused on that part. But if you know, like if you can like figure that out or we can figure it out together, leave a comment on when you think it is because I honestly, I have no idea. I'm sorry. Um, I couldn't like, I don't know. I, I couldn't figure it out. So if anyone knows or if they can figure it out, leave a comment. I would greatly appreciate that. And with that being said, we're going to move on to the actual exercises and the full routine. So let's start off with the chest, biceps, and triceps workout. He begins his workout with the bench press. Does about 10 sets of 20 reps. Moves on to the incline double press. Does 5 sets of 6 to 8 reps. Then... Moves on to the reverse grip dips, supersets it with low pulley flies. Does about five supersets of eight to 10 reps. Right now, you're probably wondering, what are reverse grip dips? Now, if you take a look at the bottom right picture, that is Larry Scott performing a common movement in Vince Gerana's gym. You know, reverse grip dips, Vince Gerana movement. Um, and the low pulley flies are the is the picture left of Larry Scott and that's it right there and then after finishing that superset he moves on to the clark machine now if you look at if you take a look at the top picture right there that is don haworth using the clark machine um i don't know too much about the clark machine but he says it's very similar to the smith machine and it looks like it's just got like a thicker bar but there could be a big difference i'm not sure but after finishing eight sets of six to eight reps with the clark machine he moves on to the incline double curl, does six sets of six to eight reps, then moves on to the lap machine curls, which I believe is the same thing as cable curls, does four to six sets of eight to ten repetitions, then moves on to the lion tricep extension, which is the same thing as skull crushers, does ten sets of six to eight reps, then finishes off with tricep press downs, does eight sets of eight to ten reps. Now, I want you to keep in mind that Don Haworth was not a natural bodybuilder. He did use steroids in the form of Dinobol. So if you're going to attempt to copy this workout, at least lower down the volume because that's a lot of volume for a natural bodybuilder. Or if you're not a natural bodybuilder, you know, you could attempt this workout, but I feel like it's still it's still an advanced workout routine. It's still a lot of volume, even for the advanced bodybuilder. So yeah, let's move on to the next workout. All right, so legs and back feeder sets what are feeder sets now let me tell you an interesting story about feeder sets and what they are how they work now when don harworth came to vince serrano's gym they talked a little bit and then vince serrano said all right you know let's start getting some calves so he put don harworth on a training routine for calves now what this training routine consisted of was basically one day he would do a heavy set of calf raises and the next day he would do a lighter set so just, you know, picture, you know, one day doing uh, six sets of 20 reps, you know, of 500 pound calf raises or whatever. Then the next day he would move on to do the Smith machine calf raises, two sets of 100 reps with no weight, basically just pumping blood into the muscle. Now, if you've ever heard of people doing pull-ups every day for a wider back, it's essentially the same thing. You're keeping the area flush with blood so that it recovers and grows faster. So I hope that makes sense. Um, that's basically what that is. Now let's begin the legs and back workout. Now he begins his workout with front squats, does four sets of 25 reps, moves on to calf raises on the Smith machine. And I know this for a fact because I read an article about it, two sets of hundred reps, then moves on to close grip V bar chins, superset with redoubt laterals, does four sets of 15 reps. All right, moving on to the last and final workout. Now this is his main routine for legs and back. Starts off with hack squats, 8 sets of 8 to 10 repetitions. Moves on to leg extensions, 8 sets of 10 repetitions. 
moves on to the leg curls, 8 sets of 15 reps. Then moves on to Smith Machine calf raises, that's 10 sets of 30 repetitions. Moves on to wide grip chins, 15 sets of 15 reps. Then low cable rows, superseted with rear lateral raises, does 5 sets of 8 to 10 reps. And then finishes off with the straight arm pull downs, 5 sets of 10 to 12 reps. Now if you don't know what straight arm pull downs are, they are, it is a picture on the right right there. Those are straight arm pull downs, they're a really good lat workout, lat workout and they help you know develop the serratus a lot too. And there you have it folks, Don Horace training routine. Now if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below and I will be happy to answer them. Another thing, I've been getting a lot of video suggestions from you guys and I have taken them into account and I wrote down a big old list yesterday. So, yesterday. so I'll get on that ASAP. I really appreciate that. I appreciate you guys leaving the video suggestions, the views, the comments, the subscribes. Really appreciate that stuff. And another thing, once again, I wanna give a big shout out to Devin Rivers for the training routine. Um, thank you, Devin, we really appreciate it. Um, with that being said, subscribe for more videos like this. Give this video a thumbs up. Thanks for watching this. Let's go Dan. Check it out. Peace.